Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. My name is Ilkje van Wiersma and I'm an orchid grower from the Netherlands. So yeah, I uh, want, uh, went uh, orchid shopping today and just to uh, have a little bit of a celebration for my 1k subscribers. Uh, to be honest, uh, if I didn't reach the 1k yet, I would have gone anyway <laughs> because I like, uh, like a day off. For me it's a day off just to have a look at the orchids and it's not necessarily that I need to buy a new orchid, but I, I really uh, enjoy uh, a little bit of uh, me time. Sometimes I go with, uh, with friends or family and sometimes I just go alone. And in this case, I was alone uh, and I was going to the Orchid Hoeve or the Orchidea Hoeve uh, uh, is the official name. And I went to some uh, to other garden centers on the way back. But this one I did found at the Orchidea Hoeve and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So I think it's a, wonder, a wonderful gift uh, for myself for the 1K, which is absolutely a milestone. And I will talk about it a little bit more in this coming uh, video on Sunday. Um, but yeah, um, just a, a little uh, announcement. We will have a giveaway soon here on my channel, just to celebrate, uh, like I said, the 1K subscribers, which is obviously fantastic. I'm really, really happy with it. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, but now we're going to uh, unwrap this one. I just wanted to show it to you guys. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's uh, let's take it out of the paper. I just did came home. So I really uh, did uh, start set up the camera and the microphone. And uh, I thought it, I, I want to film it, but I also uh, don't like to uh, keep it as long in this paper, in this wrapping paper, if it doesn't need to. Let me adjust the camera angle a little bit so we can see a little bit better. There we go. And I need to put it to the side. And it's very, very heavy, but this is... <laughs> it goes on and on and on and on. And there are some leaves. So yeah, it's a fairly uh, large plant, like I said. So let's uh, get it out of the paper. They always uh, wrap it very nicely, the Orchidea Hoover, I must say. Get the tape off first, and I'm almost there. Yeah, it starts to open up already. Some beautiful flowers are coming. Turn this around. I'm sorry for the noise that I'm probably making now, but it's very hard to uh, hold because. Oh, you will see it in a minute. <laughs> Whoops, and yes, there it is. And first, let me uh, show you the blooms. Look at this. Let me turn that one around a little bit better so you can see hopefully it better. So yeah, as you probably know, if you're longer on my channel, I love, love the combination of yellow and white. And so as you can see, this one is very beautiful in my opinion because it uh, has beautiful yellow with white flowers and i absolutely love the shape of them as you can see it has two fairly large spikes and this is obviously a fires and quite large this one and look at the pot there we go so it has roots everywhere some did damage already one bulb but I think it's uh, looking very nice. Let me Oops, get rid of the paper. <laughs> One more time, beautiful. So yeah, these are absolutely my colors. And it comes with a little a bit of a description on how you should take care of it. Let me uh, grab that. But this is going to be a little bit of a challenge because like I said, it's top heavy. Beautiful large leaves. This one is a little bit yellow, but yeah, I think, uh, I guess it's been through a lot. I see an eye here in the pot. So it probably will start a new growth soon. <laughs> like I said, now I need to stabilize it somehow. There we go. Uh, let me quickly uh, grab the description off of here. There was another one, there were two actually. That one was pretty s uh, similar to this one, but it has a, had a bit of pink on the lip. 
and the blooms were slightly smaller so i really was which one will i take but then yeah i thought this one is a bit bigger i like the bigger blooms and the yellow is more uh, was a little bit more um deeper colored wise the other one was a little bit more creamy i should say so it does come with a little description fires uh yeah you should keep this uh, fairly warm during the day it can take 18 to 24 uh, degrees celsius at night it would love 13 to 15 degrees uh, in my greenhouse at the floor it's around 16 i think at the coldest so that should be okay in summer it can go up to 30 but i think it would uh, would be fine and for the rest it's it says it's uh, very similar to a cymbidium and it likes the bark, some moss, or some clay. And it <laughs> doesn't get any of those here in my care because I like to grow them in pumice and it should be fine, but it's not on the list. <laughs> but it's okay, of course. Uh, yeah, and some fertilizer loves the 20, 20, 20. Yeah, it, 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 it probably does, but I will give it uh, more. I think they... Uh, I, I, the rain, uh, rain mix will do better and yeah that's it so i'm going to put it in the, the in the greenhouse we will have a last look at it and at first i'm going to let it uh, bloom and because there there is a bit of an eye but it doesn't show much of a growth mode yet so i don't want to repot it yet i think it, it's okay i can water it easily like this and like I said, I'm going to wait. But first, I'm going to show you that note in a minute. I'm going to find a spot in the greenhouse where it doesn't top over. At least that's the plan. And then we're going to show. Uh, I'm going to show you the uh, the eye. So I will be uh, be back, of course. So yeah, here she is. You obviously see those beautiful spikes. I think <laughs> they're really uh, noticeable, of course, <laughs> because of those beautiful colors. And for you guys who are longer on my channel here, you may recognize the space that I created here because my uh, burn of paradise is gone. But that, uh, an explanation for that will also be in my Sunday video. So that's said uh, and done about this, uh, the Sunday video. Here she is, one more time, and I can now do a little bit of better close-up, I think, of the blooms. But look at those beautiful colors. Yeah, absolutely lovely. And we have some to come here. Some are going over, maybe because of the stress. You never know what happened to those plants before they uh, came to your home. <laughs> and here she is in a pot. I did put some pebbles around it because it kept falling over. But it, do it does look nice, very nice roots. And I think those are all alive, at least most of them. And let me zoom in a little bit on the eye. You can see it there. Just starting, just above my finger there. So, I hope that will uh, continue to grow. And with that new growth, we will have at least a new root system. And then I will put it up and it will be more stabilized as well. Because that pot is fairly uh, small <laughs> compared to this uh, beautiful uh, sized fires. It does have the beautiful long leaves. And of course those spikes, so it's very heavy and thereby it's going to, uh, is uh, very top heavy obviously. But yeah, this is C. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I didn't uh, detect a fragrance yet. Maybe it come, it will come. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it would be fragrance. But so far I didn't uh, smell anything. But uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy. So this is my little gift for the 1K subscribers. <laughs> The milestone. So yeah, this is just a little uh, video in between. Like I said, Sunday I will explain more about uh, why this plant is gone and a lot of things have happened here. Uh, and of course I'm going to address a little bit the uh, 1K uh, subscriptions here on my channel. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I'm also going to mention the, uh, the giveaway. So uh, that's it and done for now. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you have a fires. It, it didn't came with a name, but if you recognize it, I'm always open for the uh, official names for these guys. 
so let me know. Sorry guys for this uh, interruption in my own video, <laughs> but I just uh, did uh, check the receipt that comes uh, with it and they do that more often so I should know better, but uh, the actual name was on there. So I know the name already, it's a Fire Stinkervale Alba. So that's the name and uh, there's something else quite funny because I mentioned earlier in the video that I already have a Fires. Well, let me show it to you guys quickly. I'm going to turn the camera around and it lives over here in this area of the greenhouse. Um, it's down here, it's nothing compared to the one we just saw size-wise as you can see. But it has something new growing there and I love the moss on it. But as you can see, I have it for two years now. It just came as a seedling. So I don't know how they do it because the one that I just bought is only one bulb and two major spikes on it. But anyhow, <laughs> this is my uh, seedling. And you can see it does like the inorganic media. And this one has quite a lot of roots. So this one is doing well. And here we go, you guys. <laughs> Guess what? I already had it. <laughs> but uh, apparently after two years, I still like it. So now I have two. Anyhow, I thought it uh, is quite funny. So therefore I added this in, in my video. But let's, uh, let's go back to the original video. guys. So let me know if you uh, know the name for this one. And as always, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye.